I ended up taking a kid hunting and he said, Razor, I don't know whether to take drugs on a Friday or come pig hunting with you on a Saturday. And that resonated with me and I was thinking, oh yeah, the power of the outdoors. So that's when I sort of started the idea of Moral Compass. So Moral Compass is a non-for-profit charity. Kids who, you know, don't have the best starts, they, they range. Some kids are, are, are good, some kids aren't so good, and some kids are, you know, are really off the rails, about to go to jail. My favourite is the ones off the rails, because they're more of a challenge. I grew up in sort of South East London. Would have made some of the places around Christchurch that people say aren't very flash. Would have made them look real good, actually. As burnt out cars, drugs, people used to carry knives. Yeah, just not a nice place at all. Not the kind of place you want to raise kids. Razor as a young person, um, left school at 13, yeah. dyslexic, um, can't read and write very well. Never really a real bad human being, but just fought a lot, always fighting, always fighting. My mates were always out partying. I was trying to weigh into box or kickbox or whatever it was, so I had to keep the weight off. And so basically I, 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 I took quite a bit of cocaine, led to a little bit of addiction with that. And I was just getting more and more in trouble. I got into soccer violence, just fighting every weekend, you know, probably every day of the weekend, you know. I was um, about to go to jail, but there was no two ways about it. And I went and visited as a judge. <laughs> and he said, um, so basically things aren't looking too good for you. Uh, how many times have you been caught now? I was obviously not very good at getting away. I ended up telling the judge a little lie and say that I can't really go to jail because I'm going to join the army. So judge was wily old fox. He actually made me sign up to the army. Three years, three months I had to sign. Oh, no, I thought oh, I should have gone to jail, eh? But no, yeah, best thing that ever happened to me, eh? And it changed my life. It changed my life. I went from being an alpha male, well, so I thought, to part of a big team. And I needed humbling, I needed bringing down a peg or two. And I was actually really good at something. I went straight through into tier two special forces, um, straight in, in the parachute regiment, you know? Ended up doing 10 tours of duty. If someone in Civvy Street, before I got in all this trouble, put their arm around me and said, hey, Razor, I want you to be a bricklayer. I would have been a real good bricklayer. But because I was written off, and no one, like the kids today, some of these kids, just written off. You know, not given a chance to shine, you know? So that's why I basically um, started Moral Compass, because of my life, my experience. So obviously when I was in the army, you know, we used to do a lot of you know, hunting for people. But what that enabled me to do was track and use sign and work out where people are, work out the wind, if you could smell something, if you couldn't, basically train me for that. So when, when I come into, uh, over to New Zealand, when I started hunting animals, you know, pigs, deer, whatever it is, I was already focused. I was already into that, that way of thinking. The outdoor's great because kids are doing vapes, they're doing drugs, they're stealing cars because they want that adrenaline rush. That's what the kids want and they're craving it. So I thought, well, what I'll do is when you catch a fish, oh, oh, I've got one, oh, oh, the adrenaline shoots up. When, you run, when you're watching the dogs run, oh, the adrenaline's up. You know, you see a deer, oh, wow, I'm gonna try and shoot that deer. So they get the same adrenaline rush as what they would do, but obviously, you know, it's, it's law abiding, it's, it's, it's achievable. They can do it again and again and again. So by teaching the kid how to fish, how to hunt, you know, what it's like outdoors, that's given them that adrenaline rush that they crave. What I do is I tailor make each individual session to the kid, you know, I work out what, what makes the kid float, you know, what, what ideas the kid really wants to do. And we just sit there and we have a chat. We might have some food, we might go to the gym. So I set a goal, so for two weeks, you can't steal a car. For two weeks, this has got to happen. You've got to be at class on time. But I, I, I do a simple goal that's achievable uh, if the kid really wants to do it. And then what we do is, might take him fishing, might take him hunting, might take him on a pig hunt, might take him out in an ATV, might do a bit of shooting. Just whatever the kid is into, that's how I make the goal. And then once the kid achieves it, we set another goal and we go for that. Might be a bit harder, might do another activity, might do the same activity again. But everything is reward driven. Partnering up with these people, you know, use Maxis as an example. It's just a huge brand. Someone like that actually puts her arm around you and says, Razor, we believe in what you're doing. You know, we'll back you. You know, you know, it just, it just makes you feel good. So I appreciate all these people who put their arm around Moral Compass and actually say, keep going, keep going. <laughs>